So Elon Musk says that XAI is targeting 50 million H100 equivalent GPUs in the next five years. Now they're gonna have to buy entire power plants just to be able to fuel this monster, and yet they're still desperately trying to hire Android developers at almost half a million dollars a year. Now I want you to think about this for a second. A million H100s, that's what they're trying to go for. They're trying to target as many H100 GPUs as they can. That's more computing power than the entire countries have, and they can't find enough developers to basically build basic mobile apps. So I'm noticing a pattern with XAI's massive GPU push that echoes past bubbles. Where is the real breakthrough hiding, right? Are we betting on raw power to solve problems that need smarter designs instead? Let's dig into why scaling to a million GPUs might not be the goal and ticket that everybody thinks it is. Let's dive into this today. All right, so Elon's throwing nuclear reactor levels of power at AI training, but he's still tweeting that he needs more developers. So let's jump over here into some of the comments as well as a couple of articles that we have to look at here. So this was a comment from one of my users and I really liked this comment because I, I think it really highlights a lot of this. He said, we need way more of this information out there. Strapping a million GPUs together is tough, granting more processing power. It's still restricted by its own parameters and must function within them. Tape a, uh, taping a million toothpicks together, you still have not a ladder to you still have not a ladder to the moon but one million by one is still hmm still one right i think what you've said regarding the parameters and, and what's looked like corruption is current report uh, issue in chinese biometrics now uh, combined with personal biometrics are unable to uh, process the faces of humans in cctv pattern recognition a hack malware virus corruptions though it used to process humans faces and no longer does and the chinese don't even know why see they're starting to see hit the point of diminishing returns on a lot of this stuff. And that's what we're going to see over coming time. And that's what this article here is talking about. Elon Musk says XAI is targeting five, 50 million H100 equivalent AI GPUs in five years. 230,000 GPUs, including 30,000 GB200s already reportedly operational uh, for training Grok. So, but then he also needs a nuclear power plant to build a power, it, right? Now, it's saying that this is 50 exaflops for XI training. He says the goal, quote, the XAI goal is 50 million in units of H100 equivalent AI compute, but not, but much better power efficiency online within five years. Now, again, but with better power efficiency, like that's just kind of a little bit more than a side note here, right? Because one NVIDIA H100 GPU can deliver around a thousand FP16s or BF16 T flops for AI training, right? And those are different measurements that they use for the training. Um, but he just wants to continue to go more and more and more. Now, Google, of course, jumps into the fray and they're saying right now they have approximately a million H100 equivalent. Uh, and so these they don't use because Google uses a lot of their own technology technology here, right? So an equivalent to an H100, they're saying they're using um, about a million Ironwood V7 TPUs and 500,000 H100 GPUs online. So they have about 1.5 million. So with 400 to 600,000 NVIDIA Blackwell uh, GPUs incoming, so that's going to be another half a million approximately, right, of the GB200s. Now, so total compute capacity is about 200 million H100 equivalents by the end of the year. This is this arms race that I'm talking about here for where they're trying to get as much hardware as fast as they can. They'll spend approximately $85 billion in 2020. But the thing that nobody's really talking about is this is just to acquire the hardware. This isn't to support them, to maintain them, to the electricity form. This is going to be more power than most cities drain. And that's where I think what we've done is people are just losing in their mind over uh, AI right now. And I understand that some parts of it are impressive, right? But right now, I think what we're going to see is we're going to see a quickly divide, huge divide where we're seeing this them chasing these wild dreams, right? And they're trying to harness all this GPU power. But drawing from my years of experience in tech teams, I've seen this kind of scale before. More hardware doesn't always mean more smarts. Elon's X post hints that they're already trying to roll along with 200,000 GPUs. So the idea is to crunch data harder. So one of the things that noted that I noticed on the launch of Grok 4 was they said that they had 100x the amount of training power. And yet they were even saying that they got 10x results. Now, what do you guys think? My favorite thing is when you guys leave a comment down below. So make sure you comment and make sure you like and subscribe. Here at Startup Hack, we love to trade software developers as well as build custom software solutions for companies. So reach out to startuphack.com 
fractionalcto.com slash Spencer and here's some information about our great services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com Spencer.